Hello guys, my name is Dr. Kushagra and welcome to my channel Dr. Coffee. In this channel, I'm going to talk about different types of coffee, their characteristics along with stuff while drinking that coffee. Uh, this is the first episode of this channel and in this episode, I'm going to talk about some basic terms regarding coffee processes such as extraction of coffee, uh, what are different types of coffee, how they are prepared, how they are brewed, uh, what affects the flavor profile of a coffee. So let's get into it. Most people don't know it, but coffee beans don't grow as beans or pods on a coffee plant, but they grow as fruits or berries. And from those fruits and berries are these beans extracted. Now what caffeine does it, it acts on adenosine receptors and acts as an antagonist. That is, it inhibits the action of adenosine, thus preventing the body from getting fatigued or going into sleep. Uh, in these times of international cultures coming together and all, uh, it has put too much importance on the cultural aspect of coffee, like sitting with friends and uh, having coffee, going on coffee dates, playing games with coffee. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad, it's good. But uh, with all this, we forgot about coffee as a drink. We forgot the art of brewing coffee or how the coffee from those fruits end up in our cups. What are the different secrets that a cup of coffee holds? So let's start it. Now I'm going to explain some of the basic terms associated with coffee. First is the big one, uh, the difference between Arabica and Robusta. Uh, we go to a store, we buy a coffee and we find on label that it is Arabica or it is Robusta or it is 80% Arabica or 20% Robusta or some other proportion in which they are mixed. Now the main difference between the Arabica and Robusta is the taste and the caffeine content. Arabica coffee has smooth and sweet taste, whereas Robusta has rubbery taste. It's kind of harsh. Arabica has nearly 1.5% of caffeine content, whereas Robusta has 2-3% of caffeine per bean. Uh, other differences between Arabica and Robusta are Arabica uh, bean has oval shaped, whereas Robusta is more circular. Arabica is uh, costlier than Robusta. Plant of Arabica is delicate. It requires more care. It requires. Uh, it's actually very difficult to grow, and it's very prone to infection. Whereas robusta plants can survive very easily. They're easy to grow, and they are not very prone to infections. Uh, Arabica coffee has very higher lipid content and fat content, which, uh, which actually provides its. A smoother or sweeter taste whereas Robusta doesn't have that much lipid or fat or uh, sugar content so uh, it's not that sweet hence the harshness of the Robusta coffee uh, Arabica is grown mainly in Latin America some parts of Africa and Papua New Guinea whereas uh, Robusta coffee is mainly grown in uh, Indonesia Africa and some other parts uh, Brazil and India both grow both uh, Arabica and Robusta type of cafes, coffees. Now let's talk about roasts. Roasting a coffee means heating it. It literally means roasting coffee beans. More roasting means more dark or coal is the roast type. Less heat means uh, light roast or uh, city type of roast. What roasting does to the coffee beans is, is that uh, it heats sugars and amino acids together and uh, causes them to mix up under heat which provides more flavor, richness to the taste while uh, richness to the taste of the coffee bean. Uh, what roasting does it, it eliminates the original flavor and the aroma of the beans. So roasting dark roast doesn't necessarily means ki, uh, doesn't necessarily means uh, it's a good coffee. It just means that it's your personal pre preference. Uh, so it all depends on your personal preference which type of roast do you like.
Uh, now let's talk about how the beans are extracted from the berries. There are two main ways in which beans can be extracted from the berries. First uh, method is they are washed with water. Uh, water removes all the pulp, all the fruit, all the skin surrounding the beans and these beans are dried for 20 to 30 days. Uh, this process eliminates the flavors and spiciness of the beans but it uh, maintains or it solidifies the original flavor of that bean. Second method is uh, fruit is placed in the sun and allowed to ferment uh, by naturally ferment by bacteria uh, over time. What this does is it imparts fruity, spicy flavors, creaminess, oiliness to the coffee beans. Uh, bear in mind these both methods are good and it depends only on personal preference which suits you the best. Uh, now let's discuss about origin of coffee beans. Coffee is grown in many parts of the world. Uh, it is mainly grown in the mountains. It is the altitude at which it is grown provides coffee beans with that extra hint of somethingness. At low altitude oxygen is normal, hence they grow normally. There is nothing special about low altitude coffee. At high altitudes, oxygen is low, hence it causes increased anaerobic metabolism, which causes increased accumulation of lactic acids and other organic acids in the coffee beans, which provides a little bit of acidification, acidified taste or spiciness to those coffee beans. Now we will talk about different methods in which black coffee can be made. First method is filter method. Uh, in this method, coffee is placed on filter paper and hot water is poured from above. It provides less time for water to interact with coffee beans and it causes coffee to not have very rich flavors or very high caffeine content. Uh, next method is French press. In this method, hot water is allowed to sit with coffee beans for four to five minutes. It allows water to absorb that extra kick of flavors and caffeine. The third method is instant coffee. Most cheap instant coffees are bad, like really bad, but some premium instant coffees are good. Uh, all we have to do is mix in some bit, of, uh, some, bit, some bit of hot water and instant coffee and we are good to go. Now let's talk about different brews. There are many ways in which uh, coffees can be brewed such as espresso, mocha, latte, uh, cappuccino, nitro, flat white, uh, machito. But I won't touch all of them but I do want to touch four main types of the coffees, coffee brews. Uh, first one is the coffee, espresso. Espresso is the basic coffee brew and it is the mother load. It is the thing that helps to make other brews. Uh, in espresso all we do is uh, we put some coffee in the espresso machine and it comes as an espresso shot. It can be consumed as an espresso shot and it can be used to make other different type of brews. Second is cappuccino. Cappuccino is 30% espresso, 30% milk and 40% froth. Now the good thing about cappuccino is that it doesn't spill if we even if we rock the cup somewhat. And the third is latte. Latte is one shot espresso and uh, three or two or three times milk and little bit of froth. Uh, fourth is mocha latte. It's just cocoa powder with latte. This ends today's journey on my channel about coffee. Uh, my channel's name is Dr. Coffee. Uh, at the end, I want to say that it doesn't matter what others like, what other people, what kind of coffee other people like or what they are drinking. It only matters that what kind of coffee do you want in that situation. Uh, you may not want, uh, you may like only one type of coffee or you may even like many type of coffees at different time of situations. Uh, in some of the next videos, I'll help you to decide what type of coffee is best suited for you or what type of coffee is best suited for that situation. If you found this uh, video informative and good, please give me a thumbs up and please subs subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.